Yeah, we're just here it's kind of just to bring the pressure to the ambassadors. From the gate um, to gate. Yeah, uh, offices yeah. here in, in, in oh, Bowles Bridge. Um, oh, as we said at the weekend, the the it's only a symbolic gesture. It's, it's largely, it's, it's only a fraction of what the people of, of Gaza have to suffer. It's just a visual thing to remind the ambassador of, you know, the root cause of, of what's ha happening really is the illegal siege and the continuing occupation. So. He seems to be either deluded or intentionally misleading people by saying that the people of Ireland are either neutral or on the side of Israel. And this is just a little reminder to him of how we feel and what we recognise. We're not buying their propaganda or their lies about why this, why this uh, uh, onslaught has happened. It's, it's, it's an intentional targeting of civilians and children and we want to keep uh, the pressure on him to remind him we don't buy his lies and we want him removed from this country until the siege of Gaza is lifted. And we keep coming back with these symbolic sieges just to keep reminding them of how the people of Ireland feel. And hopefully our government will stand up and recognise that the people don't want him here. And a good way of sending a message to Israel and their, and their government is by sending him home. Just send him home. Uh, don't waste your time trying to engage with them because they are just pure out and out propaganda merchants and you can't tolerate that anymore. The only language they understand is forceful, direct diplomacy by kicking them out of the country. And that's what we're here to do and we're going to try to keep coming back and building that pressure so he gets the message.